Let's bundle some items together and let's talk about tags. New topics added to the Forge and Fabric courses such as tameable and writable entities, projectiles, throwable projectiles and boats, as well as first steps to biomes and dimensions. Courses linked in the description below. Alright, we found ourselves back in Telegram once more and in this tutorial we're going to be adding a custom tag to Minecraft and of course we're going to talk about what are tags, how can you use them, how can you make custom ones and I mean let's just jump in. We've previously seen the block tags under Minecraft over here. That is the needs diamond tool, needs iron tool, and needs stone tool, as well as the mineable ones. Those were needed for adding drops to our blocks in this case. And we are going to, well, actually add custom tags as well. Now there's two steps to this. Number one, making a JSON file, right? So like these JSON files, and then also making a key instead of the code that we can then reference in the code. These are two separate steps and in theory, you can also only make the JSON file. Now, the only thing there then is that you can't really reference it anywhere in the code. And for our purposes over here, we're going to reference it in the metal detector item over here. Right now here, the is valuable block method is hard coded to only look for iron ore and diamond ore. And what we're going to do is we're going to make it so that it's going to look for a custom tag instead and then say, hey, is this block tag actually inside of our custom tag? And if it is, then it is a valuable block. So for this in the tutorial mode package, we're going to write click new package and I'm going to call this util. I personally prefer to put this in the util package. You could also make a tag package or something like that, but I think util is going to be fine. And inside of there, there's going to be a custom class called the mod tags class. Inside of here, we'll make two static classes. That's going to be a public static class called blocks. And we're going to make another static class and that's going to be public static class. So basically the blocks class is going to represent block tags and the items class is going to represent item tags. And for this, we're going to need a helper method. That's going to be a private static tag key of type block here in this case. There we go. And this is going to be called tag with a string name parameter and is going to return block tags dot create passing in a new resource location tutorial mod dot mod ID and then the name right here as well. And that is basically how we're going to create the tag. So let's just create the block tag here in this case. That's going to be a public static final tag key again of type block and this is going to be the metal underscore detector underscore valuables and this is equal to the tag method that we've created with the metal underscore detector underscore valuables as a name given here there we go and that basically creates a key that we can then use inside of the code so for example if we go into the metal detector item class over here down here instead of saying the state is a block or another block we can now say state dot is and you can see we can pass in a tag key over here. So if we now say mod tags dot blocks dot metal detector valuables, it's now going to say, hey, is this particular block state inside of the custom tag that we're referencing here? And just for the sake of completion, let's actually duplicate or copy over the tag key method over here. And we're going to change this to item. And then instead of the block tags, this is item tags. Now in this instance, we're not actually going to create any item tag because in this example, we don't need any, but this is a thing that could be useful in the future. So do keep that in mind. And now we still need to create the JSON file. So for this, I'm just going to copy over the name here just so that I'm sure that it's named correctly. And then under data, tutorial mod, we're going to make a new directory called tags. And then very important in the tags directory, we're going to make another new directory called blocks. If you make a block tag, it has to be in tags blocks. Otherwise it will not work. So in the blocks folder now we can make a new file we're going to call this the metal underscore detector underscore valuables dot json and the contents of this well basically are a normal tag so let's just copy over the basic tag over here and the another one here is fine but we're just going to use the normal sapphire or and then we're going to add another one and that is hashtag forge ores and the reason why we're adding this is because this basically refers to all of the ores this is under the forge namespace and the hashtag here says that this is a another tag so we're basically referring to another tag, namely the ores tag, which basically contains all of the ores that are added via vanilla. And usually if you want to be proper, then your custom tags should also all be added to the ores tag. But in this case, we're just going to do it like this. And that should be basically fine. And now when I use my metal detector, I should be able to not only find sapphire ore, but I should also be able to find all of the other ores that are in vanilla. And that is actually all of the steps that we need to do. So let's jump into the game and see if it works. All right, finds us back in Minecraft and let's just right click over here and see if we can find some valuables. There we go. We got some redstone ore, deep slate redstone ore to be exact. We got some coal ore, iron ore. And if I were to take out and get some sapphire ore here and just, to, you know, just like 
dig down a little bit over here and oh are we gonna find it and of course we're also going to find the sapphire ore so that is absolutely freaking awesome and that is custom tags added to minecraft and next time we'll no longer have to deal with json files because we're gonna do a data gen seen in this video hope to see you there so yeah